In this video, I want to go over what the dot product is and how it can be applied to 2D systems. What I'm going to go over can be extended to 3D systems, and I'll put a video out later where I actually do this with a statics problem, but I want to start off a little easier. With the dot product, what we're usually looking for, a common thing we're asked to find, is the angle, some angle between two vectors. Another thing we can be asked to find is if we have some line, how much does this vector project onto a certain line? So those are two things that are commonly asked to find with the dot product. And we have two equations we can use with the dot product. So the first equation that we have is if I have two vectors, I have A and I have B, what you're gonna see is this dot in between these vectors. And this, this right here tells you this is the dot product. And the first equation that we have is that the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of theta is equal to the dot product. We have another definition of the dot product. So A dot B is equal to the components of the different uh, vectors. So we have ax, bx, plus ay, by. And if we were in 3D, we'd have plus az, bz. Now this video, we're, we're not really worrying about 3D. And again, this is the same thing. This right here is the dot product. If we put these two equations together, what we have is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of theta is going to be equal to AX BX plus AY BY. And I'm, I'm just leaving out the, the Z direction right now. And when we solve for theta, we get theta is equal to the inverse cosine of ax bx plus ay by over the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. So that's how we can figure out what this angle theta is. Now, there are a couple special cases of the dot product that you should be aware of. Uh, when we look at the dot product and we look at this form right here, let's say one of these, let's say that B has a magnitude of one. A can have a magnitude of one too. Yeah, we'll just say both of these have a magnitude of one. And when we look at that, Let's give these different colors. Let's say that they're on top of each other and they're pointing in the same direction. So this is A and this is B. The angle between these two vectors right here, theta, we know is zero degrees. We're measuring, when we're measuring these angles, we'd be measuring, this is zero degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees. So when they're both lined up like this, we're measuring this angle right here, so it's zero degrees. And the cosine of zero is one. So the dot product is equal to one if you have two vectors that are completely aligned on each other. If you have two vectors that are perpendicular to each other. I forgot which one, which color I called A and which color I called B. But if these two vectors are perpendicular to each other, then this angle right here, theta, is equal to 90 degrees. When we look at the cosine of 90 degrees, we know the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. So this dot product, A dot B, is equal to zero. In the last special case that I want to talk about is when theta is equal to 180 degrees. 
And if theta is equal to 180 degrees, well, the cosine of 180 is minus 1. So A dot B is equal to minus 1. Now, there's another way of thinking about this. You can remember this, but you can also think of it as the projection of one vector on another. So if this is A right here, and this is B, and there's some angle theta between them, think about this as looking at this as a top-down view. And these are two walls that have zero thickness. And what you're going to do, think of shining a light source over here. When you shine a light source, the only light that's going to hit this vector right here is going to be outside of this vector, uh, outside of vector A. So vector A is going to cast a shadow. Maybe I shouldn't use the same color as light, but vector A is going to cast a shadow everywhere that it blocks the light. And that's the projection of A on this second vector, and we can call this vector B. And that's what the dot product is. If you think about it, if these vectors are in this orientation right here, then they're completely the same. A is completely projected onto B. If you think about it in this orientation, then they're completely different. If A has no thickness, then A is not cast onto B at all. So there's no similarity between these vectors. There's no projection of one vector on the other. And in this third case, with this minus one, well, even though they're not projected on each other, it's still the same magnitude, it's the same direction, it's just flipped. So it's similar, it's just pointing in the other direction. So that's why it's a minus one. If that's the way you wanna think about what a dot product is. Now, if you look at this example here that I have, I've already broken up these components into this vector into components. So this is my PX, this is my PY, this is my QX, and this is my QY. And what I want to do is I actually want to figure out what this angle theta between them is. All right. So to do this, I'm going to use this equation that we came up with, where theta is equal to the inverse cosine of the ax bx plus ay by divided by the magnitudes. So first, let's figure out what my magnitude of p is. My magnitude of p is going to be equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared. So 16 plus 16 is 32. We need to figure out what the square root of 32 is. We get this is 5.66. Okay, now let's do the magnitude of Q. We have the square root of 6 squared plus minus 2 squared. And this is... Forty, so the square root of 40 is 6.32. And we have, um, we have the different components. So we can just plug it into this equation now. We can say theta is equal to the inverse cosine of, all right, so it's 4 times 6. plus 4 times 2, or 4 times a minus 2. And this is going to be divided by this 5.66 times 6.32. So let's do that. So we have this right here uh, is 24. This is going to be a minus 8. So we're going to have 16 divided by 5.66 
times 6.32. And we're going to take the inverse cosine of this value. And we get the angle between these two vectors is 63.4 degrees. Theta is equal to 63.4 degrees. So hopefully this video has given you a sense of how to use the dot product, what the dot product is. And now you can solve any dot product where you're working with a 2D system.